Good morning, everyone. My name is Dr. Aditya Chitore. I am a junior resident in the Department of Radiology, SKMC Pune. I would like to present a paper on anatomical variations of intrahepatic portal vein using triple phase CCT scan of the abdomen. This paper is done under the guidance of Dr. Prashant Naik, who is professor and HOD in the Department of Radiology, SKNMC Pune. I would like to begin with giving an overview about the uh, topics that have been discussed. Uh, uh, abstract, introduction, literature review, objective, study population, the framework, methodology, results, discussion, conclusion, references, and acknowledgement. Uh, beginning with the abstract, the study investigates the anatomical variants of variations of portal vein branching observed in the CCT scan of abdomen. A total 508 patients underwent CCT abdomen and their portal vein anatomy was assessed for variations. Most common variant variation that was identified was trifurcation followed by RAPV originating from MPV. Recognizing these anatomical variations is crucial for surgical planning, liver transplantation, intervention procedures to minimize the complication. This study underscores the importance of detailed preoperative imaging to map portal vein anatomy accurately. Uh, introduction. Uh, the portal vein is formed by the confluence of splenic vein and SMV and drains directly into the liver, contributing about 75% of the hepatic blood flow. The anatomy of portal vein and its branches can be assessed on USG, CECT, and MRI of the abdomen. The delineation of anatomy from USG can be limited due to the patient and operator factors and MRI because of the cost and time. Thus, CECT was chosen as the modality of choice. This is a literature review which I have gone through for the study. Objectives. My main objective was to identify and classify the various anatomical variants of the intrahepatic portal vein using triple phase CECT abdomen. My second objective was to better understand the frequency and types of variations that can occur along with their demographic associations. Study population. The study uh, includes the patients undergoing CECT abdomen scans at Srimati Kashyabai Navale Medical College. A statistically significant sample size of 508 cases was determined to ensure robust data, ideally to capture a wide range of anatomical variants. The inclusion criteria was patient of all ages who have undergone CCT abdomen for various clinical indications and consenting for the study. The exclusion criteria was uh, patients with prior hepatic surgery, significant pathology that distorted the normal anatomy or any poor quality imaging. This was the framework. Imaging protocols with standardized CCT protocol with appropriate contrast administration was used for all patients to ensure uniformity in image and quality and detail. The CCT images were analyzed and the branching pattern of the intrahepatic portal vein were documented. Data collection, detailed records of each variations, including the prevalence associated clinical data was documented in a structured database. Descriptive statistics were used to summarize the prevalence of each anatomical variant. Cross tabulation was performed to explore the associations between the portal vein variants and the demography. The study design was a descriptive prospective study. The study was done from March 2023 to April 2024. A sample size of 508 individuals was taken. Uh, semen 16 slice CT scanner was used. Triple phase CCT of the abdomen was done. Uh, IV contrast, I hexol was used as a contrast media. Uh, the arterial, portal and delayed three phases were obtained. Additional reformation was done in sagittal and coronal sections. MIP images were uh, uh, seen necessarily where they were indicated. Branching pattern. Normally, intrahepatic portal vein, main portal vein, divides into right and left portal branches. The left portal vein is horizontal for short distance before it turns cranially and it supplies coinard segments 1, 2, 3 and 4. The right hepatic vein, uh, the right portal vein, uh, subdivides into anterior and posterior branches. The anterior one supplies segment 5 and 8 and the posterior one supplies segment 6 and 7. This is the imaging which have indicated the same in a pictorial format. The anatomical variance that we came across is the most common is main portal vein uh, bifurcating into uh, right portal vein and left portal vein. The RPV further goes into RAPV and RPPV. Uh, type 2 was main portal vein trifurcating into left portal vein, RAPV and P RPPV. The, left, uh, the third variant was right portal vein arising as the first branch of main portal vein. The type 4 was right anterior portal vein arising from left portal vein rather than arising from right portal vein. This is the schematic that I have shown for the uh, explanation of the same type 1, 2, 3 and 4 anatomical variants. The results were of the study were as follows. Uh, there was normal bifurcation of the main portal vein observed in almost 82% of the individuals. Uh, type 2, that is the trifurcation, was observed in 11% of the individuals. Type 3 was obtained in 5% of the individuals. And type 4 anatomical variation was observed in 2% of the individuals. 
the results uh, were are displayed uh, in the chart and uh, diagrammatic format as follows out of 508 patients enrolled into the study 298 were males and 210 were females the mean age uh, was uh, 36.4 years plus minus 2.67 uh, years that is the standard deviation and the range was from 1 year to 85 years this was the demographic association uh, in the male population and female population as uh, uh, with respect to the portal vein variations in so coming to the discussion part uh, the the study of the anatomical variations of intrahepatic portal vein using cct abdomen a detailed analysis of these variations revealed significant implications for interventional and surgical domain variations such as trifurcation rpv originating as first branch of mpv rpv arising directly from lpv highlight the diversity in the portal vein anatomy misidentification or ignorance of these anatomical differences can lead to complications such as inadequate resection of the margins of liver tumor unexpected bleeding or compromised liver graft function therefore a meticulous preoperative imaging assessment using cct is critical for optimizing the patient's outcomes in the hepatic interventions conclusion the most common variation in the intrahepatic portal vein was branching pattern was trifurcation followed by rpv as the first branch of main portal vein and rapv arising from the left portal vein respectively accurate knowledge of variations aids during the various ivr procedures like liver transplantation placement of uh, tips uh, portal venous embolization localization and resection of hepatic tumors this was the references that i have used uh, to for formulate my study uh these are some acknowledgments i would like to uh, give away for helping me out throughout the study uh and end of the day i would like to thank you all thank you so much